Hello guys, it's Miglev back again and Decca today released the Halloween update for 2022 and we're going to go over all of the new items and the new dungeon, the new free campaign that everyone can join and some other stuff that they've changed in game. But before that, join my 4000 gold giveaway before it ends. It's just some days left for you to join. If you want some free gold, there is a good chance of you winning there. So join that after you've seen this video and let's jump straight into the update. Deca says this, spooky spooky realmers. The end of the month is approaching and uh, this means we are ready to celebrate Halloween. Additionally, you might now be able to access our newest dungeon in Realm of the Mad God, the Sulfurous Wetlands, created by Moonshoot. Make sure to enter the dungeon with the right attire and don't get yourself wet. Nexus and God Reskins Our Nexus once again received a reskin that fits more to the theme of Halloween. Additionally, some of our golds got hit by loose spells and transformed into their alter egos. So that changes the Cube God, Cube Obseer, uh, Cube Defender, Cube Blaster, Grand Sphinx, Hermit God, Hermit Minion, Hermit God Taint. So the biggest addition to this update is the Sulfurous Wetlands Dungeon. As a branch fell into the water, a faint sizzle played. Sinking deeper and deeper into the murky depths, the branch remained intact, almost as if they yearned to ingrain itself at the bottom of the Attic Bog. After a short wait, it hit the Myers floor, becoming one of the many interconnected pieces of the warped puzzle. The sphere of influence grew for the now dormant heart. Solitude across the generations had led to only involuntary expansion. The failure of a curse, the madness spawned from the desire for power, both culminated to this endpoint. Welcome to the Sulfurous Wetlands. The wetlands will be dropping from a new godland mob, the Grand Dragonfly, with its availability being akin to mobs such as the Sting Spider, Corsair Crab and Great Owl. It shares a similar difficulty level as the counterparts above and aims to give the area another challenging yet rewarding experience. Special thanks are going out to everyone involved in creating this dungeon. We have leads, which is Moonshoot, very nice, H on you, uh, design and art, Maelstrom, Special thanks to Aurum, Kid Force, Lily, uh, Maggie, Maggie, Misumi, Zeus, and Toasters. So let's have a first look on the items we are going to find in the wetlands. So I'm just going to go over these items quick. We have the Bramble Tooth Tahi, Bogwood Crook, uh, Warped Mantle, uh, Thistle Leaf Necklace, Bloodroot Extract, Sulfuric Core. Concussion and sulfuric stone. So we have a trap, we have a Tashi, which is the, the katana uh, variant, we have a staff, we have a robe, I think. This is no, this is a um, heavy armor. We got a ring here and two consumables. It's going to be very interesting trying out these items, but I think I will do that in a specific video so I can aim to have more time designated for these item items so let's jump into the other stuff this update brings we got some new player titles added with this update we have the swamp acquired when you complete five sulfurous wetlands monster acquired when you complete 50 sulfurous wetlands halloween event let's start the halloween season off with some realm events from the 25th of october until the 8th of november the totalia is guaranteed in realm three times you will receive one black Petunia and Raven, Raven Feather per kill. Additionally, the Zombie Horde is guaranteed in the realm and appears after the Cyclops gods are killed. A bunch of chest event will come over the next two weeks. The loot will be posted every time an event starts uh, on, the on the official realm discord and on our social media channels. Additionally, every final boss of a dungeon uh, event will drop one token. So we have the Haunted Cemetery. Uh, we have the Undead Lair, and the Undead Lair event starts today, uh, and the Haunted Cemetery as well. So we have Pumpkin Master in both of them, I think. And then the, here is the chest for the UDL event. So we have these uh, STs again, Halloween reskin STs, uh, capsules. Um, Curse Library will be later, Manor of the Immortals will also be later, Parasite Chambers, our puppet monsters encore the crawling depths and the wine cellar halloween quests 
we have different ones here so i'll take a look on them in game instead of reading them from here and we also have a free campaign that everybody can take part in which is uh like reskinned gravestones that's more halloween themed and i like that and it's free to join so i suggest you go and do that in the nexus we also have four new skins, Zombie Hunter Kensei skin, Zombie Hunter Sorcerer skin, Undead Knight skin, Undead Samurai skin. So here we have the Zombie Hunter uh, Sorcerer, looks really cool, I really like these animations. Uh, Undead Knight skin, looks really cool, and Undead Samurai skin also looks pretty cool. So here we have some other changes to the game, that is just mis miscellaneous uh, and the unity support gravestones should now be automatically unlocked in the wardrobe. I know some people had uh, problems with their unity support gravestones. So let's take a look on in the game. And up here we have the free campaign with these gravestone, which is called the Rosy Grave Unlocker. Uh, Rosy Gravestones. I guess that's nice. And it's free to join. So yeah, we also have the uh, battle pass as well. That doesn't really... We have also the battle pass, which isn't really that good. But let's take a close look in at the daily quest room and what special uh, quests we will have for this Halloween. So we, ooh, what is this? Hunter tombstone. So we can choose uh, special SDs. Ooh, I really like the the hooded skull or this uh, reskin uh, SD set is back. This is the edictum thing. The really hard skull to get so we have the pixie set as well as well as the lost hall set um yeah so let's see we have the raven feather that you will get in uh one of each event dungeon so you can change this for either a random one or you can take the haunted tombstone to get a specific one so i really like that and uh, that makes it a, you be able to choose what item uh, to get specifically and uh, that can be really nice Trick or cheat. Ooh, We have one item of choice. I think it doesn't say that it's repeatable So we have these amazing reskins like the sea dirk jug conflict and the uh, Vile spirit trap so you will have to do 30 of an event dungeon to get a specific one of these This is just good for pps and everything I might even start the pp just to get the phantasm dirk because I don't have that But I do have a helmet of jackonaut in my vault the rings. Ooh, we have some st rings here Ah, this is the new st sets or the last year new reskin st sets um, So yeah, these ones um the yeah i did a video on them I, i'm not sure what they're called it's the gunslinger assassin so we have the revolvers here which is just an amazing uh risk weapon um and i think that was everything with this nothing new here nothing new here shield exchange or strings and i think that was everything uh with the quests we have a lot here uh mm -hmm. Yeah, that was every quest you could do. I would really like to find the new uh, dungeon in the Godlands. I will try for some while. If I don't find it, I'll get uh, a showcase video later of the dungeon. Oh, here we have one. Really nice. Okay, let's go, guys. First impression for the Sulfurous Wetlands. Okay, so you spawn in the boss room. Interesting. N nothing to clear. We have this big ant ancient ant thing. When does it start? Oh, we are okay. We have to clear. Never mind. I thought it was one boss room. Okay, so yeah, uh, we got the new consumable. We have the sulfuric concussion berserk on self for four seconds, sick for three seconds. That's really nice. I can see like uses of that. That's really interesting. Uh, for especially for solo plays in some dungeons where you just need a lot of DPS, this will make you be able to as a pattern in double buff for some time if you can handle the sick okay not that much hp so should be uh, like the like hardness of uh dead water docks and chronic depths so not that hard but can be dangerous so i hope that it's like semi-dangerous tree evolves to what okay that's a lot of bullets Okay, so you don't want to stand on that platform. So I want to move here now. 
Come on. Okay, that was it. So we have a t mark of the wetlands, UB speed, and a dexterity potion. So unfortunately, no white bag. And I'm not. There's something on the map. Okay, let's rush it. Okay, that was not, not a good idea. But there seems to be a treasure room. So, that's everything for this update. I hope that we get some nice events later. It seems a little bit lack lackluster and very heavy towards the sulfurous wetlands. But it's always nice to get a mid-tier dungeon. That's not that hard, but can face a challenge to some. So, check out my giveaway. And I'll see you guys in a later video. See you for today. Bye-bye.